agricultural practices are things you do, they're actions you take to help reduce the risk of microbial contamination on fruits and vegetables. And that can be on your farm, so it doesn't matter whether it's a conventional farm or an aquaponics farm. In aquaponics, often ready-to-eat products are produced, which means that they're not cooked before consumption, products like herbs and lettuce, and that could pose a greater hazard to consumers than products that are cooked before consumption. Aquaponic systems do have cold-blooded animals, uh, the fish, which could pose a hazard in possibly their biofilm that they create. There's also the hazard of the water. Contaminated water could potentially be an issue for aquaponics and hydroponics. And so we did a research project exploring that question between hydroponic, aquaponic, and conventional. And we found for many of the pathogens there was no significant difference, which means that there is a similar risk to conventional agriculture, and thus we should implement similar practices as conventional agriculture. Here in Minnesota, almost all the aquaponics are in a warehouse or a large building structure. Indoors, it's confined, so all you need to do is use your broom use your floor mop, use a procedure where you're always cleaning, you empty the trash, you can control that so much easier. So the food that you grow needs to be safe for everyone and you want that, consumers expect it, and simple practices like daily showers, washing your hands, cleaning up after yourself can really help provide safe food. Workers can be a major source of contamination and we can carry bacteria on us and if we're sick we can transfer that illness to our food so we want to make sure that we are healthy when we come to work because we can contaminate the food without even knowing it. So we worked on a project funded by MinDrive Global Food Ventures to identify some of the potential pathogens, some of the potential bacterial pathogens that we could see in aquaponic systems here in Minnesota. So listeria is a common cause of foodborne illness in Minnesota. It's oftentimes spread by raw vegetables and raw produce. And we have found in our risk analysis, listeria can survive and grow quite well in aquaponic systems. So this is one bacteria that does pose a potential risk to consumers. So one of the, one of the best ways to prevent listeria contamination of produce is to prevent water from getting on the leaves of the plants. And that can be an especially important uh, control measure in aquaponics systems. So when you harvest, a lot of times when you lift up the raft, you have the roots that are coming out of the water and they're dripping water. You want to make sure that you're not lifting that up and dripping the fish tank water over the rest of the produce or over your surfaces that you're going to be processing on or cleaning or harvesting. So we definitely believe that uh, using good agricultural practices, using good processing and good techniques can definitely reduce the risk for most of these foodborne illnesses and, and really ensure that this is a, a safe and effective and wholesome product for Minnesota consumers.